Welcome, thank you for joining me. My name is Jack and this is The Last Tinker City of Colors. This is a beautiful game that is, I don't know if it's still in development in the polishing stages, it's not out just yet. But I got a chance to play through it and I'm going to do a full playthrough because I started playing this game and was just amazed at the beauty and the fun I was having. And instead of just doing one-off episode, we're gonna run through the whole game. So hopefully you'll stick around and join me. But this first episode will be kind of my first impressions kind of view. I've played for about 20 minutes so far, and we're gonna jump straight in because I think the introduction tells a really good overview of what the story is going to be about. And then it gets you know fairly quickly into the gameplay itself. So we're gonna make a, a new, we'll go into slot two here. I've done yeah, the first 20 minutes, so at least I'll know what I'll be doing and I can really show off what the game's like. And there is a kids mode, a hard and instant death mode. We're going to play a normal, since that's the way the game should normally be played. I don't know how difficult hard will be, but normal seems to be, it seems pretty easy, but it was a good level of fun for me. Tinker World. A place where everything can be built from basic materials as long as the idea behind it is strong enough. From ancient forests to bustling cities, from the tallest mountain to the deepest ocean, all is crafted with nothing more than color, paper, and glue. Even small pets or giant ones. Paint is produced in the city of colors and brings life to the inhabitants of Tinkerwell. Everybody has a favorite shade, which makes them individual. But now, the city is in danger. Fortitude has turned to sadness, curiosity to fear, and strength to anger. People have divided the city into districts, even starting to hate other colors. Only in the outer district, where all colors are accepted, are people still normal? But among them lives a boy with very special talents. Soon, he will start a chain of events that will destroy the city. That's such a great introduction because it is beautifully told, great music and animation, very clear what's going to happen. But then that ending, yeah, that guy's going to destroy the city. You're like, ah! Okay, not, not going to save it. He's going to destroy it. So I'm really keen to see what happens. This is just gorgeous. I love color in video games. And this is amazing. So here we are. Koro, again. Why do you always scare an old pal like that? So that guy's net tap. Uh, we're Koro. From New Zealand, a Koro is like a plant. So that's kind of amazing. Um, I blame with the control. It's got full controller support, which is absolutely great. Uh, we're just going to go into this big race. So here we are beautiful world and we can run around our left stick to move right to look around and here's a respawn point i'm going to quickly jump through most of this because i know what i'm doing we hold right trigger the sprint and look at this game ah oh, it's so colorful it's ridiculous some other characters music is great animations are great this game has just got so much class all over it okay, there we go so the gate's jammed again It'll take a few hours to fix. Okay, business as usual, we're taking the long way around. Let's go. It's a warm up for the race. So these guys are moved. Uh, down we go. Now, it automatically jumps over gaps, which makes this game quite easy, thankfully. You can just hold right trigger and push in the direction you want to go. And look at that, we just bounce around. But back here, there's a hidden item. I'm going to grab it. So there's these paintbrushes. And... It'll explain later on what it's about, uh, what we need to, to collect those for, but they're not important just yet. Well, for, for what I know. I hold right trigger, we can go up here. It's very quick going up there. Go across the road. But I could see kids playing this because like, it's so easy just to move along and you know, just hold right trigger and just bounce along these, these tiny little I guess, stumps from the water. So that's our health. If we fall into the water, you lose one health. You don't even die. You lose a bit of health and respawn. That, I don't know if that's because it's on normal. Uh, and then you go back to a checkpoint. Maybe on hard, it's a bit different. Because there's one where it's like instant, not instant death, but you've only got... Wait, there's only... Oh, I'm not going to make it! Okay. Let's see if we can... Oh, I'm going to have to wait to get up to that other heart. Okay. Go, 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 go. There we go. Bounce, 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 bounce. 
Very cool. It's like Assassin's Creed. Um, like an easy version. Well, actually, Assassin's Creed is fairly easy to play. In terms of the movement scheme, you just hold in the direction to push a button. And it makes it really satisfying. Uh, right bumper does a jump so we can roll down like so. Not trying to get a dig at Assassin's Creed, I kind of enjoy it. Oh, here's that paintbrush. I'll talk about this in a moment. Um, it's a floating brush. I'm told someone in the market has been collecting on these things. So, we'll keep gathering those. There's a certain number of them on each level. In Assassin's Creed, it's really satisfying to move around. I wish that, like, Mirror's Edge, there was... It was a much more challenging approach of movement. Uh, but I think this game does a really good balance. Okay, so bees break stuff up. Uh, it does a good balance of allowing you to move around but not become bored. And it's great for kids. The game's broken, so smashing out crates again. You can pay me back after you've won the race, okay? Jump to the jump pad, and then push Y. Obviously, full damage is not an issue in this world. So here's the gate here that the guys are trying to get through. Let's continue on. Now, if I push up on the D-pad, no. Obviously, don't have that skill yet. It should show me the way. I think it tells me in a moment. Halt, I'm a great wizard. Prepare yourself for my color magic. You shall not pass. Ah, uh, no, this is our friend. Couldn't resist. That wizard after you made me is amazing. You're amazing at tinkering. Here's 30 gems. Uh, we'll show it to the friend. Good luck in the race. Really loving the style and color. Now, where are we going? I think it's down here. Ah, that was a checkpoint. I was like, what did I just absorb? Welcome to the race. And over here. No, it's this one here. This is where I want to go. Tap, what can I do for you? We're here to register for the race. Okay, that's 500 gems. And we're like, what? Uh, when are you charging for the runners? Well, the district's in a bad shape. The tensions in between the other districts are affecting us too. If they don't produce any color, we have nothing to paint with. It's interesting seeing the real world similarities with that. We have to earn crystals in any way we can. So we're going to have to get some work uh, to get enough money. Okay, now I can push the up and now it shows us the light. Very good. Let's run off this way. We go up here and we ask this guy to see if there's any work available. How's it going? Jay, what work we could do for 500 bucks? <laughs> That's new. It doesn't surprise me in the times. Help Muddy out at the mushroom farm. And you can probably help him. And also, Brick is organizing a new fighting workshop. So we can probably do something for him. Let's go. And can you show us the way? We can make our way down. Hey, that was not the direct way to go, man. I think this takes us into a new district. So the map's uh, got a good level. It's not too short, not too long. And they won't nice and quickly. I do have an SSD on my computer, so it probably loads quicker than others. But really gorgeous what created in the Unity engine. Okay, we can use the... I don't know where that guy... He runs off to where I'm going, but obviously he's way quicker than I am. There's quite a lot to explore around here. What is this shiny thing? Oh, it's a checkpoint. I probably explore and talk to people, like, for example, yeah, if I explore up here, get another paintbrush, there is three on this map. Good to know. Let's go up to the rail and we'll demonstrate how that works. I probably think it's up here. Yeah, it's right here. So if we jump on, this reminds me, there's a couple of games this reminds me of um, using these rails, Psychonauts and... Bioshock. I love these rail systems. There's another one that I can't think of, but I can picture it in my head. This one just automatically throws you across, so it's fairly easy to get from place to place. Okay, let's talk to Brick. He is down here. Is it a painting? Hey, it looks so cool, but what's stopping them from tipping over? I don't know. Am I supposed to know the answer to that? Let's go through here and talk to Brick. I was hoping you'd come, the others are waiting inside. So this is kind of like a fighting workshop and he's the, the organizer and we're just going to be demonstrating how awesome we are. We should form into line. I presume we're going to stand here. <laughs> we look so different to compared to everyone else. There's more of you every day. Good to know people willing to stand up against the bullies from the red district. Let's number up and make sure you're all good to go through the exercises. Let's go. So there's three exercises for us to do. Everyone's going to quickly read that. I love... It, it feels like an open world game. It's not as like complex as other ones, but there's actually quite a lot going on here and it flows really well. It's not like a fade to black and then they're all in their spots. They they run to those spots. It's those little things which make the game feel more alive. Okay, let's help this guy. He's new here. Your Koro. Can you help me figure out the test? 
We need to do a five hit combo, hitting every dummy at least once, but not the same one twice in a row. I'm so confused. Bro, you're just gonna do this. Whack, whack, whack. Hold, push the button, and just hit. Or well, push the button. Oh, we've already done it. Wow, we're just completely turbo like that. Push the button and hold in the direction, and we'll be fine. Now, this one here, he set up a new record 14 hits in a row. So, dare you to beat us. Well, fine, we're just gonna, you know, do a 15 hit combo. I don't know how you get stuck at 14. The challenge here, I think it kind of moves, so you gotta kind of keep holding in that direction, but not hard at all. There we go, you know, just what? 15 hits, easy as bro. And the last one is the dodge attack. So, three dodges, you can hold the bumper to do a dodge like so, but we can actually do with attack, like that. So you kind of dodge and then do attack at the end of the dodge. Wait, have I done all the dodges? Can I talk to you again? How did you do it? Oh, I can't even get hard that far. Okay, now to the dodge part. I'm ahead of myself. I just had to do three dodges. Now we have to do the dodge punches. One. Combat is quite easy. Supposedly I can change the combat, so I might make it a bit harder if I you know, dominate this game a bit too much. Now we're going to do some practicing in the ring. We're ready for a fight. Something special. Step into the center of the ring when you're ready. And what he's going to do, he's going to make us fight against a group of guys. Just because, you know, we're so awesome. He's the best fighter here. We've got this reputation in the town for being the best tinkerer, making the best stuff. Everyone seems to like us, everyone seems to know us. Which is quite interesting because we're going to destroy the city. But we do look so different compared to everyone else, which is kind of makes me question some things. There's everyone again. Let's face some more opponents. Wants us to use some dodge punches, but I can just punch these guys in the face and I'll be fine. They do move quite slowly, so maybe I will have to check out the higher difficulties. Easy as. Mind you, have closely quick health. Fine around, give it all you got. Let's just beat him up one at a time. <laughs> oh, there's a guy! Oh, he missed me completely. Is it just you? Oh, it's just you. And we've done it. We've got the health on the ground. We're a real piece of work, kid. There's nothing more I can teach you. Here's 250 bucks for helping out. And we get some gloves to prove you've earned the skills. Which is quite interesting. I'm wondering to see if there's uh, some mechanics of gaining new items for certain things. No, I don't think it gives us anything. It just kind of reminds us of our fighting skills. Never lose your temper and show those boys a thing or two. Alright, we should go to the mushroom farm. Let's... Whoa, we're going this way. Okay. Take the rail. I'm gonna take a drink while we zoom across. Gotta go stay hydrated. Especially with all this talking. This game is so gorgeous! My god, I can't get over it. We're gonna run through this little marketplace. It'll be quite interesting when we get to the districts and it's just certain colours. It'll be quite interesting. Hey Bigs, can you show us where Muddy is? This guy runs really weirdly, i got to admit. He looks like he's either terrified of me, or he's... I don't know, when he runs, he just... things things happen to him, man. Ran to the wall there. Wasn't watching where I was going. Right! Ah, thorns are growing back. Now, I thought that was trying to, to keep me trapped in this area, but the game addresses that. I like it. Just say, hey kid, what brings you to here? I'd like to add some crystals, and by the way, the spikes are growing back. I like it how there's the excuse, it's stated, for why that's happening. Anyway, blast those things, gives me an idea. Until now, you've only helped me with harvesting. It's time I taught you something new. Let's see if you can find Biggs. Where is he? Bro. Hey. Can I talk to you again? Push left one, but the whistle one. So I don't know if I'm going to have this guy for most of the, the game, because you know, there's a whole lot of controls we went here to. Uh, we're going to have to get some mushrooms, get him to stay on those mushrooms, but a whole lot of controls for whistling. Okay, let's, you know, I'm hearing you, mate. Come over here, go over there. And then go here. And go here. Very close enough to him. If I hold it, he'll keep following me. Cool, that should be all four of them if I talk to him again. Not so bad for a first try, we'll leave the bridge like that and we'll harvest them later. Now on to the next bunch. Where is he? Bro. Crazy man. Follow me! Ah, oh, I've been chased by a madman. So 
down here. It's kind of like I remember doing this. Right, there's number one. There's number two. We got it? We got it. Uh, go there. I need to push that latch. And I need to get to the other side of the bridge. And we go like this. It took me a while to figure this out the first time, but it's kind of obvious when you look at it from the bridge. Push the lever. Nice quick animations there. Come on, crazy man. Oh gosh, she's so nuts. Right, one more thing we can learn so far. I've actually nearly caught up to where I finished playing, which is quite cool. So we run across this bridge. Ah, uh, fix. You gotta come across the bridge so you can trigger what's gonna happen. There we go. I love that facial expression. Uh, he's stuck and he's freaking out. He's a bit too heavy for the bridge, I don't know why he's heavy on the way back, but to a special connection to all the beds he activates, go and push the switch on one of the beds we did earlier. So, like example, this one here. Look at this scared face. It's like, looks like he's, you know, he's watched his family die or something. He's horrified. Look at him. Oh. But we push the switch and then, like magic, we get a teleporting. Go on, wood breaks. I think we got one more set of beds to go. Talk to him. Okay, you're a natural. One last batch and we're done. Uh, oh, we go past. There we go. Sure, going. What's in here? Oh, I think there's a brush in there. We'll leave the brush for the moment. Actually, we have most of the brushes in this area. Let's go get the brush. Down we go. Let's get these barrels out of the way. And jump around. And would you look at that? A brush. Two out of three. We're most of the way there. Seems like these areas are quite large to explore. I don't feel lost though, which is the cool thing. Uh, so I gotta talk to this guy again. Okay, this is where it gets a little tricky. Problem is, big's too large for those like arches. The dancing keeps shrinking the water. You need to shrink him a little. We're in from muddy. Just to learn from you again. Right there. Oh, I think I have to wait for and hit the switch. Where's the switch? Oh, here's the switch. Say hello to Bomber. He's still big. He's a little compact. Working with the mushroom folk, you have to get crazy. The mushroom folk, you just have to get used to crazy people like that. That's kind of amusing. So he's a mushroom man. Interesting. Look at him. He's nearly adorable. Okay. Go this way. Get this bed. Can he... So I can get across, but he can't. So I gotta put him... Right there. And we can dash across. We'll be dashing. Ha! Oh, that was awesome. If you can go to there, man, that'd be great. Oh, I just ran to the thorns and just lost some health. Oh! And so did he. Okay. Bit more management needed now. This is all new. I haven't actually played up to this part of the game, so... I'm gonna leave him there. I don't think we need bigs again. If we do, I have to run back. You did it, kid, and boy, you're a fast. Can you end yourself a little bonus today, maybe by the patio, so I can pay you? Why do we have to go to the patio? Because it's right here. Nope, we're going further. <laughs> Where are we going, man? It's right here. Okay. Wow, he's got a big water wheel going on. This is the patio. Oh, look at the chair. Come on, old man. I need my pay. Here you go, 250. Wow, it's like I've got, you know, 500. Give me every crystal. You can have my old backpack too. It should help you carry all that money around. Hey, we've got a backpack as well. Now we're getting our character kitted out. That looks really cool. Thanks to you, I can take it easy harvesting those shrooms. Guess you'll be heading off now, eh? Cool. Well, we're going to go ahead and try and enter the race. I think this is a good place to call it. Uh, you know, end of this episode. I hope you stick around for the second one and see how the race goes and what destroying the city means. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.